Alright, today we're going to talk about my biggest sneaker fails. The reason why they fails, well, for a variety of reasons. For the most part, when you're buying sneakers, uh, especially online, you can't really see specifically the shoe. And where I am in Newcastle, we don't necessarily get the best sneakers. So, if I'm not able to see the shoe, but I think I like it, I generally just buy it and hope for the best. So I was going through GOAT one day, and I was flipping through, I was going through a Nike SB phase, and not just Nike SB Dunks, because they're a little bit crazy in price right now. Although at this time, they were. It's, it's funny how these trends change, right? So I was flicking through it, I was looking through Eric Costin's shoes. Eric Costin's been one of my favorite skateboarders since around like the late 90s when the Tony Hawk franchise came through. Um, and I saw he had like an Air Max. And I already had the Janoski Air Max, and I really liked it. And then I noticed he had this crazy colorway that was lime green with blue. And I'm like, that's kind of like one of my favorite shoes, the CP3 Nitro Pack. Join. I gotta get these. I looked everywhere to try and get them on some sort of bargain, on some sort of sale, because they were an older shoe. I pay retail. It is what it is. Um, and it's not really a shoe anyone was checking for at all. I mean, if you look at these joints, same with the Janoski Air Max, you can't skate them. I skated the Janoski Air Max like maybe once. And there's no protection, no support. They are a lightweight shoe for everyday type use. And that's it. Well, let's have a look at these Eric Costins. These are actually still in the box. Um, what are they called? Eric Costin 2 Max. They're essentially the same sort of thing as the Janoski Air Max. Um, they're kind of like a Nike Free mix with Air Max. Or... I feel like the Janoski Air Max is the closest thing we're going to get to like an Air Max Zero, which came and went way too quickly and I got on board way too late. But that's it. It was meant to be lime green here with the blue and it would look great. Um, instead, it's tennis ball yellow. Now don't get me wrong, they're still kind of cool. Similar sole to the Janoski Air Max, and I'll probably one day still wear them. I mean, they're just something different. It's a talking point. Chances are it'll be for like a music video or some sort of clip. Uh, but again, there's no way you're skating these. So, even though they're not bad, still kind of a fail. Now, the next fail on the list, um, this takes me back to a grand old time where the American dollar was trash and you could buy stuff in America cheaper than you could in Australia and like it was insane. I remember buying like two pairs of Air Max that would usually cost about $200 each, uh, two Jordan hoodies and a couple of t-shirts and it was only about $350. The living. Insane. I bought a pair of, I want to say I bought a pair of Air Max LTDs which have since gone. I think I covered them in paint, to be honest. I think I spilled house paint all over them. They were a fantastic color. They were like a gray. I don't think I've got them anymore. Pretty sure I threw them out. And then I've got these, which, not a bad colorway. It's like a camo type thing. Um, they're called Nike Air Max Supreme Tape. Now, because of this material, um, it, it's quite, quite tightly woven. And as you walk, I feel like, what are they? No, they are, they are a 10, but they're a little bit big for me. And as you walk, it kind of, it just makes like a weird sound. And it, it just completely threw me off and I couldn't wear them. Um, I have worn them, obviously. Although the sole looks pretty good, except for a bit of dust. Um, and the air bubble's a bit cloudy. Uh, but, I want to say these were like 2012, I got these, 2011, something like that. And they're a great looking shoe, but 
I just couldn't deal with this. Literally as you walk it, you can kind of hear it just going like that, but it was even worse as you were walking. <laughs> and just for that reason alone, it, I just could not wear it. Great looking shoe, but I essentially wasted my money because yeah, um, yeah, a bit of paint coming off there. Cloudy bubble, but you no, know, probably could still get a bit of wear out of this. But yeah, for that reason, the uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just like a little bit big and just makes that weird sound for me. It's a fail. The next shoe on this list um, is another one that I bought online. And this was around the time the Air Max one was having a really big resurgence. Let's say 2015? Let's say 2015, 2016. And you know, I was all about it. I, I love the Air Max one, it's one of my favorite shoes. And I also love a bargain. I can't go past a bargain. And I saw this shoe that was a great looking colorway. And it was on Culture Kings, and I believe it was under $100. So to get an Air Max one under $100, crazy. But the difference with this one was, it was the Air Max one with like the Lunar Sole. So it was a little bit lighter weight. When you get it, it's a completely different shape. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit pedantic and all of these sound like that I kind of am, but the shape is weird, it looks weird when you're looking down on it, and I'm pretty sure it made a crazy sound as you're walking too. So, I think I wore it once. I wore this once to the shop, to the local, uh, to the local mall, shop, Westfield, that type of thing and it just kept making a crazy sound on the floor and you look down on it it didn't look good and the more i talk about it, it sounds crazy because i'm looking at it now and it's not too bad maybe i wore i don't know but for whatever reason i just didn't like it and it felt weird and i don't know it just felt like it should have been a lot better but i think they're just going too crazy here with the shape and it just doesn't look good. And for that reason, again, it's a fail. Now the last one, I did buy online. It wasn't initially a fail. It was a great shoe. Still, I feel like every person should have a pair of these shoes. It's a white, all white Nike Air Max 90. I feel like it's an absolute staple. For mine, it's probably taken over from the all white Air Force One. I feel like this is something everyone's going to have. Now, I've got a love-hate relationship with all white shoes. And if you can see the shoe, you'll see why. They're impossible to keep clean. Now, these are war for a music video. And the music video we did was kind of like a short horror film. So it goes through this whole sequence. So these shoes tell the story of that, essentially. All the different wear, all the different marks, everything like that. As we've gone along, we've collected different things. Now, one of the final scenes that I wear these in is I'm on purpose fucking them up. Completely fucking them up. I'm kicking around in the dirt, you know, fucking them up in the dirt. On purpose, for this shot, because I feel like the shot will be crazy problem was I never hit record properly so all we took was like this still image to get it in shot but either we were recording prior to the shot and then when we've hit record we stopped recording <laughs> the shot and we just never checked it and um, so these shoes you know Great shoe, love the shoe, could probably still clean them, to be fair. You know, I still may be able to clean these shoes. Um, they're a little bit yellow, a little bit crusty, all this type of stuff. Uh, but I feel like a bit of bleach, a bit of, a bit of hard work, I may be able to get them to be worn. But the fact that I fucked them up so badly for a shot we never got for a music video is why they're a massive, massive fail. Easily the biggest sneaker fail I've ever made.
So what about you guys? What fails have you made? Have you accidentally bought the women's version of a shoe and found out they're going nowhere near the size of your foot? Whatever it is, leave it in the comments and let's have a laugh all together. Because I know everyone's got these type of fails. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you know what? I'll just keep bringing you dope videos. How about that? Peace.